Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Come on, let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God, our God.
reflect back over your life, whether you're saved or unsaved, or believer or non believer. You can realize that there's some things in your life, some places you come from that you could not have done it by yourself. And somebody right now, I just want to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody, everybody. Somebody, everybody.
up for me. Oh, bless his name. 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 He was better to us than we had our own self. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. He's been better to you than your doctor, your lawyer. He's been better to you than your sister, your brother. He's been better to you than your mama, your daddy. He said, when your mother fall, but said, he's alone.
say, God, I thank you. Thank you, Father um, God. God has, um, the song starts with the encourage my soul. Thank you, Lord. And let me journey For the night is dark. Thank you, Lord. And I am far from home. Thank you, Lord. Thanks be to God. The morning. Sometimes in case of any voice guard you because I can I get back and I I know we were on the sky ride. Bishop talked me into it and at Bush Gardens when we took our leadership on vacation. And uh thank God for the opportunity thank to do that. I really Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. I don't lie about this. But he said, Come on, this can get me to do things nobody else can get me to do. And I got on the sky ride. And we got to the end, but it was on the other side. And uh, I said, well, we're going to have to get off our end and get on line. But Bishop, big man that he is, he said, can't we just stay on and ride back? And the guy, the first guy said, well, you need to get off if they're waiting on line, because we have people waiting for a lot. And uh, he said, but I just want to go to the other side. Right. And so eventually the guy said, just stay on this. He said, man, just stay on. And we rode to the other side. But in life, when you ride to the other side, it's over. Amen. You're not going to get another chance Amen. at this. Amen. And, and that's why we, we need to redeem the time. Amen. Um, that's why I have a thing with lazy people. Amen. Because you're just wasting away your life. Amen. But we were in, we were at our annual event, and most fun was watching y'all dunk each other and try to drown each other. <laughs> uh, uh, once again, the men lost. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Deacon Riddick deserted his buddies. Oh, <laughs> and Kevin Clifton and, and uh, Jay. He deserted them. And Sister Frances, my assistant, I told her, I said, 
Sister Frances is funny. <laughs> she would grab people and take the bucket and just say, now call Deacon Ray, come on. <laughs> say help, Deacon Ray. Come on, say help. Come on now, say help. Say, say help. And they were yelling, help. And Deacon Ray got all the way out there and bring it. And not doing what he should be doing, which is helping them. That I have fun watching you guys have fun. And God even spoke to me. Thank you. My God, if we had been lazy or quit, where would these people be? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Sometimes we demarginalize our ministries because they're not large. Amen. And it's sad, but the body of Christ has not really supported smaller size ministry. And that's sad because in the Bible we know that Paul told them to do it. Corinthians was a large church, but they were instructed to support the smaller church. Um, and it's happened so much that some pastors have become disheartened. Uh -huh. I'm not one of them. Thank you. There was a time where Bishop and I were, and we couldn't figure, we, we were crying out to God in prayer. God, why won't you make us large? Why won't you make us big? What are we doing that we're not supposed to be doing? Uh -huh. What are we saying that we're not supposed to be saying? Lord, do it. People would leave out. And we'd be so hurt. But it was a trick of the devil Amen. to discourage us, to cripple us in our mind, uh, to quit. Amen. Of course, Amen. 20 years later, that didn't happen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not going to stop. Hallelujah. Because, see, what happens is you devalue the sheep that God has given you. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. See, I watched yesterday, and I said, where would these people? be the way if Ellis and Lois had quit. Amen. If we gave up the fight, yeah. the faith fight, where would the people be? Yeah. Yeah. I watched Chantel and she had on a hair and a speedo cap that was coming <laughs> off. <laughs> she blessed me before she went to the water. She said, does this look okay? Am I okay? Modesty. You know, and and y'all know we don't we don't delve on clothes because the Holy Spirit gets in you eventually. Amen. Yeah. You begin to look at your own self and go. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why. Right. 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 Yeah. Amen. You do it yourself. Amen. Amen. Um and our job, my job, is to teach the women Amen. and to any men that need it. You know, Amen. most of the time I'll send them to bishop. Amen. But um, I had no problem telling you, you know, those pants are a little too mm -hmm. tight, bro. <laughs> you know, we don't need to see everything, bro. Amen. Uh, so I looked at Chantel and I went, she's the newest member. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. What an awesome thing. And where would she be? That's right. right. You know, and I thought about Mother Willis who was out there Thank you, God. yesterday. And I said, if it hadn't have been for us not quitting, Mother Willis wouldn't have had a church to go to. When her heart was broken. Amen. 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 And she may have backslid from God. Amen. And then her daughter Chantel. Thank you, God. Why would you turn on the bubble machine, baby God? That's all right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And Thank you, Lord. then, don't worry about it. We'll deal with it afterwards. Thank you, God. It only lets me know I'm on target. Amen. 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 That's all it lets me know I'm on target. I don't like distractions when it's time for the word. Amen. Everything was fine. Now it's time for the word. There's distractions. Amen. 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 And the devil loves it because what the devil constantly keeps trying to do 
is deceive the people of God. Amen. That's his major job. And as you look at situations, you will get deceived. Say John 10.10 10 says, God, God says through Christ, the devil came. He wants you to know he's real. Amen. And he's not two uh, horns and a pitchfork and a tail. That's another deception. Uh, okay, that's that's not what the devil looks like. Uh, I guarantee you, from some demons that I've seen in the spiritual realm, that the devil looks far worse than that. Uh, okay, and I've just seen his demons and not him. Yeah. So I can imagine. I remember the movie Golden Child, and Nipsey, Nipsey was there, and when he showed his true self, I said, hmm, that's probably Amen. close to what he looks like. That's right. Uh, yeah. He's nothing to be admired or loved. Uh -huh. And so I thanked God yesterday for this ministry. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. I said, see, I told somebody, I said, my mother, when I was between 10 and 12, don't remember exactly the age, but I woke up one morning and we, as y'all know, we were raised Catholic all our lives. So Catholic school, Catholic everything. So we didn't really know the things that I've learned over the years. Yeah. Um, but they taught, I thank God for that time in my life. Because I can look back and see where God was preparing me for who I am. Amen. And I learned a deep reverence for the house of God, a deep respect. There is nothing greater that you can do in life than to serve the house of God. There is nothing greater. And a lot of people fake the front, but they really don't understand the great anointing and privilege of serving, working in the house of God. It is a privilege. Amen. And God thought it was so great an honor that the family was named the Levites. Uh -huh. Anybody that was assigned was to live in the house of God, work in the house of yeah. God, uh -huh. and wait on God to bless them. Uh -huh. And they never wanted for anything uh -huh. because they understood the value. See, until you understand the value of something, uh -huh. you'll seek other things. Uh -huh. Until you, see some people there, there are people in the body of Christ, they do this. They love God, but they still in themselves. Right. They still in self. Amen. Amen. And I've come to understand, I even prayed last night, I said, God, am I not, do I talk right? Because people don't listen. And he said, they can't listen. Because they're still caught up in self. Amen. What I can do, what I got to do, how I got to do it, and they're not going to listen to me. Right. He said, but don't be discouraged. Move on. Amen. Don't get stuck. Amen. Move on. Amen. Somebody say, move on. Move, move on. on. So last night I made up my mind that, Pastor Witch, can you deal with that? I made up my mind that I'm moving on. Amen. Amen. You know. I've talked to some people for years, and and really all I've seen is them treadmill God. And so, what's the point? Remember we talked Thursday night about bucket with a hole in it. And I'm really there. I love all of you, but I'm not going to be teaching all of you, and I'm not going to be advising all of you. Amen. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with those who are really doing Matthew six thirty three. Yeah. 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 First. Yeah. So yesterday was just an encouragement to me. Boy, did we eat and we'll eat some more today and the pools are open. But yesterday really encouraged me that my living is not in vain. Because of you guys. Thank you. That God has saved it. Change and it's changing. You know, a pastor's job is to make disciples out of sheep. Amen. Followers. 
follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. Yeah. That's my job. I'm a shepherd. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there are sheep that have to be sheared. I think I've told you all that we were at the state fair years ago. Mm -hmm. And the, um, who let out a little bit for me, Sister Shelton? Mm -hmm. Who let out a little bit? Um, and they were shearing the sheep. I'm just going to talk to you. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to follow what God told me to do. Don't get distracted Amen. by that. Now, everybody Amen. looking at that, see what I mean? Amen. You're getting the most important thing of your life. And you're distracted by somebody pulling out a thing. And Albert is trying to tell her what to do. Never mind, I called the wrong person. Have a seat. You're a distraction. So. I got encouraged yesterday in a major way. In a major way. See, that's a, that's a sign of training that sits shelf brother out of me. So I said, just pull it out. So all you do is pull it out. You see? It's no big deal. When you walk humbly, you be obedient, you go sit. That's why we never put big seats up here. We don't need to be seen. You need to see and hear the word of God. Amen. So for those of you that are going to listen today, God has a major word of encouragement. Amen. For those of you that are going to listen today, God has a major word of encouragement. For those of you that are half in and half out and you're doing your thing, I shook the dust off my feet and God bless you. Wish you the best. See, I have the mindset of Elijah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do what God say, and you do what you say, and let's see who prospers. Amen. 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 Uh, and let me tell you something. That will keep you at peace Amen. within yourself. Yes. That will keep you at peace Amen. within yourself Amen. when it just don't phase you no more. Amen. See, more and more, I understand what Paul said when he said none of these things. Movie. I don't give a flip. You know, I'm going to tell you what's right. And then you go. And I've seen people suffer and continue to suffer and their families suffer. And they turn right around again. I'm going to do what I want to do. Fine. Bishop and I've taught y'all that we are Jews. We've been engrafted and adopted. The Bible says in. Jews always go to their rabbi. They always go. And they listen and they do because one thing, remember, Jews we are God's chosen people. That's why He had to adopt us into to it. Because now we are His chosen people. You cannot get blessed if you don't follow your leaders. I was telling somebody, I think, the other day, we, Daddy, and I don't know why Daddy did this, but He did it one year because we were city children. But Dad was building a pen in the backyard. We were so... And um, not soon after that, he brought home two ducks. And all my sister and I were so excited. And he said, don't make pets out of these ducks. You're paying attention. Amen. I'm focused on you. And um, of course, we made pets out of them. And we named them. It was Ducky and Wucky. And my sister and I loved Ducky and Wucky. We would hug them. We'd take baby doll clothes and put them on them. And we would have tea parties. One of them was for the, the big pen. We'd get in there with our table and our doll babies. And we were having a daddy told us not to do it. What did daddy say? No. But Ducky and Wucky were so cute. And they were our friends. Well, November came, and uh, Daddy, one day, were out there playing with Ducky and Wookie, and Daddy came and said, go in the house. And we were raised the way you were supposed to be raised, when your parents said something you just did. Yeah. Yeah. Right. My parents never talked to me more than once. God shouldn't have to talk to you more than once. Bishop and I shouldn't have to tell you something more than once. Yeah. Or you paid the price for it, and you pay the price now. Amen. So we went in the house. He said, don't be peeking out the window. Just going in the house. Oh, well, of course, we went in the house, but we're peeking out of the house. <laughs> we want to see what is daddy doing with Ducky and Wucky. 
Daddy lets them out to pin some he never did. And then we see him grab them, and he's got his axe. And he cuts the duck's head off. Bam. Wow. Now, that wasn't the bad part. The bad part was, once Daddy cut off Wookie's head, Wookie kept going. <laughs> And his neck, because you know, decks have a long neck. The neck was flopping, and blood was flying. And meanwhile, Daddy was cutting off the head of the next one. My sister and I were screaming and crying. My mother came and said, good for you, but you didn't do what you had to. And um, my mind was, why doesn't he grab Wookie? Why would he let Wookie just go on acting crazy? And um, Ducky had his turn and did the same thing. Well, years and years later, God brought that event back to me and brings it back to me often. Without a head, the body That's keeps it. going. Yeah. Yeah. But it's shedding blood all over the place. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's running into walls and collapsing and running into other walls all over the place because there's no headship. Mm -hmm. Headship has left our homes our public schools, because see, in our school, Amira, we don't have it. We have headship, and you learn to respect. Amen. Amen. Uh, life has changed drastically, where headship is not honored anymore. Amen. Amen. And if it's not honored, it's not respected. Amen. And if it's not respected, it's devalued. Amen. And when something is devalued, you treat it any kind of way. Uh, yeah. That's the sidebar. Because God said to me yesterday, and I've already been there, but he just emphasized to me the importance of all of you. Each person that God saves is valuable. Amen. Some of you don't act valuable. Sit up with that one. Some of you don't act valuable. But that's because you haven't understood yet how valuable you are. Amen. And that's why our young people are in the streets like they are, feeling like they are, because they don't see the value. Well, why not? They will, some will raise, right? You can raise a child right and they still go to pot. Um, and parents, then the devil comes to them and say, you didn't do this. Now, if you didn't, and you see a repeat of you, the only thing at this point as a believer that you can do is tell them the truth. Yeah, amen. 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 Okay? I was this and I was that, but that was then. Yes. This is now. Amen. Amen. We're living in a time when you must demand respect. Because everything the devil has devalued. Yeah. Our women dress like they do because they've been devalued. Uh -huh. They bought into the lie of the media and music and they've become devalued. Yeah. Men are devalued. Mm -hmm. We're so much so they call each other, hey dog, what's up? Family has become devalued. Yeah. Children are devalued. I've had parents complain because when school is in session, everything's on lockdown. Mm -hmm. Fix the clock, please. Everything's on lockdown. Mm -hmm. And I need to be able to get y'all's atten your attention. Thank you, Lord. Uh, everything is on lockdown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people have gotten upset about it. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, when they hear they mind. And I will give my life for them. Amen. Yeah. I'm not playing. Yeah. They go through enough hell out there. Yeah. Yeah. When they come in here, they're not going through hell. Yeah. Now they might feel like it's hell when it's time for schoolwork and homework. But children need to be protected yeah. until they mature. Yeah. Yeah. So yesterday, like I said, really blessed me because God, if y'all could have seen what I saw 
It was almost like each one of you were a light. And you were bright. You were smiling and laughing and happy and having fun and eating. I looked around. People were eating and laughing and talking. And, you know, life was going on. Life was good. Brother Albert came up to me in the water for a long time. He was off by himself way out in the water. And I said, Lord, why is he off not with the rest of the group? I said, he's all right. And later on he came over to me. He said, I was just out there talking to God Amen. and Amen. meditating. Amen. Thank, Thank, you God. Thank you, God, for today. Yes. Thank you, God, for you guys and the effect it has had on my life. Thank you. He said, I was crying. Thank you, God. What a wonderful thing. Amen. Amen. What an awesome moment for a grown man. And y'all know, Alfred hasn't been saved for a long time. But he was off having a moment with God. Amen. See, if I hadn't checked in with God and went over there, I'd have blew the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, Daniel 10 12 is where I'm jumping off from. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before God, thy words were heard, and I come for thy Daniel. It's an interesting story, and we're not going to go through it for the time's sake, but Daniel had been praying and praying and praying, yes. all right, and praying, because there was a bad situation going on. Anybody had bad situations? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. And the first thing that happens when <coughs> trouble comes is fear. Mm -hmm. Hello? Amen. 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 That's the first thing that y'all better talk. Amen. Is fear. Amen. Amen. Fear Amen. comes as soon as trouble comes. Yeah. Those two demons travel together. Yeah. Amen. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, how are we going to make it? Oh, oh. Okay. Especially those of you who have not been praying, not been studying your Bible, um, you have real issues when trouble comes, because you've been living in the flesh. Amen. Yeah. Here goes another flesh demon that comes with fear. I gotta figure this out and fix it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I. Right. But Daniel goes to pray, and, and I love what this scripture says. From the first day that thou didst set their heart now, if you look in the NIV, that word heart is mine. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was blessed. That thou hast did set thy mind to understand and to chasten thyself before God. Isn't that a good word? Amen. Amen. Right there. You, right Lord. there. Right. The in, not the instant you pray. That's it. It goes right back to 2 Chronicles 7.14. If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways, then I'll hear the land. Amen. It goes right back to 2 Chronicles 7, 14 that we have been talking about. Amen. So he says, he didn't say the moment you started praying, praying, but the moment you humbled yourself. Mm -hmm. And dealt, chasing means to deal with yourself. I don't know about you, but there are times that y'all woke this morning. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Brown. There are times when I get in the mirror and I'm chasing me. Yeah. Yeah. I get in the mirror and say, let me tell you something, Lois. I'm not happy. And if you ever do it and look yourself eyeball to eyeball, you'll see you almost want to turn away. That's right. Amen. The best chastening is when you deal with yourself. Yes. Amen. Amen. But God loves us so much that if you won't, he'll send your pastor, a leader, somebody with a word for you 
to chasing you. Amen. But the best thing is to get in the mirror. Amen. Just get in the mirror. Amen. And deal with yourself. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen, Sister Shanae. Amen. The moment you did that, thy words were heard. I said, wow. Now, this is an angel talking to Daniel. Mm -hmm. Daniel's been praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. Mm -hmm. And no answer. I've mm -hmm. been there. I don't know if you know. Amen. He says, but the moment you get you out the way, yeah. that's, that's it. when your words Amen. were heard. Amen. Amen. So you can, this is a good word. You can Amen. pray Amen. forever. But as long as he, remember, he knows your thoughts are far off. Oh, yeah. And as long as you are dealing, God's not going to even listen to you. Amen. I don't care what you do. You could go out here and work 80 hours in a day, if that would be possible. <laughs> you can go play the lottery. You can go to the casino. You can go to the spades club, whatever. To try to give money and try to do this. You can do whatever you want to do. Amen. That's right. And it's sad, but I see, stand back and watch people do it that are not following Bishop and Pastor. Right. See, no matter what, Bishop and I, Pastor, keep right on serving God. Amen. And, and years ago, Bishop said, maybe I need to go get a part time job yeah. because we can't meet our bills. I said, no. We need to wait on the Lord. He said, you know what? You're right. You just keep doing what you've been doing. Amen. That was the word at the banquet. Amen. Just keep, God said, just keep doing what you've been doing. Amen. But see, the devil will tell you what you've been doing. It's not meeting your need. Amen. You're not prospering. So you need to do this, and you need to do that, and you need... No, see that's flesh. Amen. God doesn't need you doing stuff right. to solve your situation. Amen. God doesn't need that. Amen. He's God. Right, right. Whatever God has called you to do, you need to be doing that. Amen. And wait on the Lord. See, you know why you ain't excited? Because of flesh. Well, what about if I mean, come on, y'all. What's the worst? Thank you, Lord. Thank What's the worst? You know, I told the devil, I said, if I end up on the sidewalk in a cardboard box, I'm still going to serve God. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Good. I'm not going to be moved because of bills and money. That's the least thing for me because I have made God my priority. Amen. God is first. Now, either God is God or he ain't. Amen. And if he's God, then all i got to do is do what he tells me to do. Amen. And wait on him. And that's where the problem comes. Amen. Wait. That's right. Daniel prayed for 120 days over this one situation. And when, it's, when it, um, the angel shows up, he's kind of like ticked. I mean, what what took you so long? I've been talking to God. I've been praying. What is the problem? What took you so long? Mm -hmm. That's right. And in verse 12, the angel explains it. Mm -hmm. He says, I had to fight the prince fight. of Persia. Mm -hmm. And I had to call on Gabriel. Because he did not want me to get to you. So he had to call the head of the angels to help him fight to get down to death. So a lot of times, the Bible says, our battle is not with flesh and blood. It's not. It's with principalities and spirits in high places. Principalities are major demons major demons uh -huh. who have a real power source to do something. Yeah. Yeah. Rebellion is a major demon. Yeah. Yes. And you'll see it in the earth now, just rebellion. Okay. And people rebel because they can't have a way. Yeah. Yeah. One of the problems in America right now is that adults have not grown up. Uh -huh. yeah. 
So adults throw temper tantrums. Uh -huh. yeah. They'll gossip, backbite, do everything they can. Let me tell you, there are people, and so God just brought this to me, so there, there are some people around you that like confusion. Mm -hmm. yeah. God yeah. just brought that in my spirit. Yeah. They will lie, gossip, do everything they can because you are being blessed. I've seen it happen with new Christians. They get around the wrong people. Uh -huh. People with whispering spirits and gossip. Because yeah. yeah. there yeah. are people, this may be unbelievable to you, but there are people that live their life like this every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all they do. Yeah. It is amazing. One life to live, uh -huh. and you, they spend all day, every day, Day, yes. gossiping, whispering, yeah. putting yeah. stuff on Facebook. Oh, yeah. People let their lights go out, let everything go, but don't take off my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not about calling. Yeah. It's about being a busybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the word. Yeah. And there are and there are people that spend their whole time. When they got for doing things to be prosperous, doing things to bless somebody else, doing things to get ahead. They on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I mean, the devil has tricked our younger generation. They're not focused on education. They're not focused on prospering the right way. I want my way. We raised up a generation, go over there by Deacon Williams. We raised up a generation uh -huh. that is self-willed. Yeah. And because we didn't have, we did things sometimes we should have done to make sure they had uh -huh. what everybody else had. That's right. right. Uh -huh. Uncrushed legs, even though they didn't need it. Uh -huh. So we gave them way too much. And then we're shocked when the demon of rebellion comes along. Uh -huh. We have allowed them to have their way too much. Yeah. See, our parents didn't do it. Amen. And we got grown and knew better than to say and do certain oh, yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. If we did it, we did it. It is you Sunday. Amen. Yeah. Amen. If we did it, we made sure we weren't around them. Yeah. That's not the generation we live in now. Oh, no. The generation we live in now will tell you off. Uh -huh. oh, yes. Oh, yes. And parents will stand there and take it. Yeah. Well, you know, you mean it ain't oh, me. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not me. Oh, no. Not at all. Not at all. I'll tell you that now. Not, not, at, all. All. not at all. But Daryl Pass said, well, we need to talk. I don't need to talk to you. Uh -huh. The best thing you can do is let the door hit you. Uh -huh. With a good Lord speech uh -huh. before things get out of hand. Amen. Because it's my house. Amen. It's my house. Uh -huh. You might pay a little rent, but that ain't paying the mortgage. Amen. You know. Disrespect and rebellion have entered the earth. And what we're seeing is young people die. Yeah. Young people going through hell at an early age, yeah. but that's the word. Uh -huh. The Bible tells you to honor your father and mother. Mm -hmm. I don't care if grandma raising you, then you need to honor your father, your mother, your grandma. Yeah. Yeah. But because young people judge more than they honor themselves and obey, they put themselves in a bad place. Because first of all, the Bible says every time you dishonor your parents, yeah. you mm -hmm. lose a day. Yeah. Yeah. So if you were to live to be 80, some of you will work your way down to 50. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, young people don't care about that till they get old. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And then they start remembering the disrespect. Yeah. And it lets I mean, I mean the Bible means what it says. Amen. Amen. Honor your father and mother that thy days may be long upon the earth. Yeah. You won't live long. Amen. It's just that simple. Uh -huh. The other day we were talking about some, some things, and I said, you know, it's the homes. 
Uh -huh. yeah. Until parents start being real parents, yeah. you're going to keep on having the problems that you have. Yeah. Now, young people don't like statements like that because they're manipulative. Yeah. Amen. Children are manipulative. Yeah. And until children humble themselves, until you guys humble yourself, uh -huh. it's going to still in the fact, and I see it even generationally. Yeah. I just see it keep jumping generation after generation. Yeah. But it's coming from you guys mm -hmm. that are not humbling yourself uh -huh. and dealing with you. Yeah. And so the generational curse keeps rolling. Uh -huh. I remember when uh, Sister Francis' father was alive, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, everyone's, everyone that was married knows he was attacked with Alzheimer's. Uh -huh. Amen. And she washed him, she dressed him, she fed him, she took care of him, yes. till she couldn't anymore. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. She would bring him to church, yeah. decked. Yes, yes. He loved to wear a hat yes, that matched yes, yes. his suit and his yes. shoes. You know, and I thought, she's going to live long. Thank you, yeah. God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Now, was he a perfect dad? I don't know a lot about him, but I can tell you no. Why? Because there is no perfect dad. Amen. Right? Amen. And there is no perfect mother. Amen. But young people will sit back and judge. Uh -huh. When they're not trying to manipulate you to get your way, uh, I would say yes. They keep on spoiling. Uh -huh. I told the shelters they didn't listen. I said you need to stop spoiling that boy. Oh, but he's our last guy. He's so precious. Uh -huh. I said, okay. And one day Kevin's father stood in the school lobby and said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this boy. <laughs> He don't listen to nothing I tell him to do. What a tater do it, you won't do it. I was just standing there going. <laughs> I said, I told you. Uh -huh. Once again, but you didn't listen. See, when you don't listen, humble you down and uh -huh. listen, not only do you pay the price, That's it. Yeah. but everybody else pay the price. So I told, yeah. Some, yeah. told somebody that guess that they didn't listen. Mm -hmm. And God said, shut up. Mm -hmm. And I shut up. When you are trying to get through to family, mm -hmm. now children, as somebody say a four-year-old wouldn't listen. And I'm still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> Something's wrong with the parenting Amen. when a four-year-old won't do what you tell. I mean, a four-year-old, who's four? Who's five? None of y'all are four or five? How old are you? Six. Shucks, you're too old. You're going to be an old woman. <laughs> <laughs> Have to be the size of one of the little babies in the back. Can you imagine a four-year-old Oh no, oh no. And I said to the grandmother, I said, you know what? It's parenting. That's it. It's the, it's the mother. Okay. The mother needs to get in the mirror and deal with herself. See, a lot of women now don't want to be mothers. They laid up with lovers. They help with lovers. Yeah. And they can do that part real well. They may do shout hallelujah. Wow. Knocked you out for a couple of hours. You just, oh, the thrill of it. <laughs> but you produce a human being. Yeah. Who he don't want. You know, y'all know we have a church dog. Amen. We had, it's our second black lab. I miss Malachi. And Amen. from what I read in the Bible, I'll probably get to see him in heaven. I love the movie, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Yeah. But in the Bible, it talks about different animals or horses and uh -huh. So I believe Mally is there. Maybe he isn't. 
Once I get there, it'll be cool. I ain't got no complaints. And uh, the second one, we have them. We had two. One was named Pastor and one was named Bishop. And Pastor, for some reason, did not like Bishop. So they would literally stand on two legs and fight. And then Pastor disappeared. Um, and we tried to fight and couldn't. But Bishop is still here and living and he's got gray hair now, so he's getting older. But if you tell Bishop to sit, he'll sit. Amen. Amen. And it amazed me because I said, you know, the dog is more obedient than oh, God's feet. Amen. If you clap your hands, you used that when he was younger. If he got off the leash, he was going to the creek to meet his girlfriend that lived down the street. Yeah. And he has made many children at the creek. <laughs> I have been told there's about 15, 20 dogs that meet at the creek. You know how kids meet at the mall? Well, the yeah. dogs meet at the creek. Wow. And I can remember a couple of times where his girlfriend, who lives down the street, would come down the middle of the street with her four or five puppies trailing behind. <laughs> it's amazing sight to see. Uh -huh. And she would get to Bishop and he would look <laughs> and he would turn his back. And he and he would walk away. Uh -huh. And she would whine and cry and sit there and try to push the puppies to him. Bishop was a lover and a player. God right. does <laughs> what I wanted. Oh, no. You take them puppies and after a while she'd take them on back down the street. Some of you have done the same thing. Time after time. Uh -huh. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Still looking for love in all the wrong places. Oh, Lord. And Christ is going, here I am. Amen. Amen. But because your flesh rules. Mind rule, not spirit rule. Uh -huh. You figure if I just find the right man. Uh -huh. Well, I'm writing a book and I've really got back to it recent. Prince Charming is not coming on a white horse. Uh -huh. sure. Sure. There is no perfect man. Amen. Amen. There is no perfect man. Amen. Amen. There is no perfect man. Amen. Amen. There is no perfect woman. Amen. The best you can do is a man that's been rooted and grounded in the Word of God, Amen. is being led by the Holy Spirit most of the time. That is about the best that you are going to get. Amen. Amen. The worst you're going to get is a man that says, I go to church. Uh -huh. See, you can go to the church. But until the church is in you, uh -huh. you're really a liar and a hypocrite. Uh -huh. And sooner or later, you're going to find out he'll love in a play. Uh -huh. And now you stuck like Chuck again, because you keep repeating this same behavior. But now they're children uh -huh. that you don't want to deal with. You're tired of your birth. The world has told you your birth tap. And they didn't ask to come here. Amen. So now we kill children. And Planned Parenthood sells the body parts. We all saw it. Sells the brain and sells the leg and the arm. And they're just selling body parts. Because you don't want to be bothered with the human being that you create. Mm. And until you get in the mirror and humble yourself. That's right. Because they didn't ask to come here. Amen. Yeah. You did an irresponsible, reckless thing. And now you've got to humble yourself and pray. And ask God to help you to raise your children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that sounds foreign and crazy 
to be for them. Yes. Yes. We don't want to pray anymore. Uh, we don't want to talk to God anymore. Before we create situations, the only time we really want to talk to God is when there's trouble. Uh -huh. Daniel was talking to God because there was trouble. But obviously Daniel's heart wasn't right. Amen. His uh -huh. mind wasn't right because he, the angel says, once you made up your mind uh -huh. to humble yourself yeah. and deal with yourself, yeah. Then I heard your praise. Yeah. That is what the scripture says. Yeah. And I just meditate on, you know, a lot of times we say, God, where are you? God, why are you not listening to me? Yeah. God, why are you don't hear me? God, because you're in the way. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. if you listen to those statements, you and I, you and I, you and I, you and I. Why this happen to me? Why not to you? Why? Amen. Why? Why? Most of the time, we open the door Amen. through Amen. disobedience, Amen. not being humble. Amen. And the devil said, let me get in here while I can. Amen. Amen. But the one thing we hate, even as adults, children hate it. Jaden did something in school, and we called his mother. And she told him he was going to get his bracket, and she was going to take his birthday money. Oh, the birthday money part hurt him worse than the fact of his back. Mm -hmm. And he's crying all in the lobby one night. And I said, you shouldn't have done it if you didn't want to pay the cost. Amen. 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 Shouldn't have done it, adults. Amen. You didn't check. You didn't acknowledge God in all your ways. Amen. Amen. You didn't do it when you're raising children or the grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so precious that you would, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And when they stand up and tell you what they ain't going to do. Mm -hmm. You know, children are bold now. They tell parents what I don't want to do, what I ain't going to do. Mm -hmm. I ain't here. And, and I'm always amazed because I'm like, and they still stand there. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's because you devalued yourself as a parent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your prayers are being heard because you have numbered yourself. Because mm -hmm. the word says when you decided to get you out the way mm -hmm. and you dealt with you, mm -hmm. your words were heard. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what I got out of this when I was studying was that that's why the saints' prayers are being held up. Mm -hmm. The prince of Persia was a demon, a principality angel mm -hmm. that fought against that angel bringing the blessing. Mm -hmm. Where did he get so much power from? From Daniel not being humble. Mm -hmm. His prayers were not heard until he humbled himself uh -huh. and dealt with himself. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In the meantime, the angels up there fighting. God said, your battle is not in flesh and blood. I got that part of it. Yeah. The battle is not yours. Yeah. Then what is my what is my part? Prayer. Prayer. Doing what's right. Humbling yourself. Yeah. I'm asking God to clear out anybody you, that's not in oneness with us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, Pastor, we're not a huge church. I don't care about that. Thank you, Lord. We, we've got some things we're confessing out of our mouth. Correct? Yeah. Amen. Amen. As a body. Amen. Amen. And if you're not in oneness, you're going to hold up our blessing. Uh -huh. Amen. See, the blessing, the answer was held up yeah. because Daniel wasn't in right position. Right. We can't birth anything. Not Do you know what the best position at birth something is? Is sitting. Uh -huh. Women should know that. They have birthing chairs now where you sit in the chair because gravity pulls down. Right. Uh -huh. Most of us had our children laying yeah. down, which yeah. was made it more painful. Yeah. 
In Israel, when you were getting ready to birth a child, you sat on the birthing chair. Uh -huh. And even if it wasn't your child, when Abraham went to his handmaiden and produced Ishmael, she had to sit, the handmaiden had to sit on the lap of Sarah. Uh -huh. And Sarah caught the baby. Being in right position makes things a whole lot easier. Amen. Amen. You think you're losing? If you're losing, it's because you're not in the right place. Amen. You're not in the right position in your spirit. And until you get your mind right with God yeah. and get off of you, it ain't going to work. Amen. Now, I know, I know some of y'all don't believe that, and you're going to do what you want to do and have fun. But as for me in this house right here, yeah. I'm going to do it God's way. Because yeah. I know God got all the answers. Amen. All I got to do is wait on Him yeah. and not allow the devil to make me anxious, fearful. Uh -huh. Remember, we read fear not. First thing, look all through the Bible. When the angel came to marriage, the angel said, fear not. It's always fear not. Why? Because fear is a driving force. Fear has torment. How are you going to pay this? You're losing that. What are you going to do about this? What are you going to do about that? They took the car. They did the, y'all heard Mother Ramsey's testimony. They took the car. And when she told me, I said, well, somebody told me. And I talked to her, I said, let me tell you something. Don't be moved. Amen. Amen. God's got something else for you. Yes, amen. See, we don't even know last, yesterday, everything had calmed down and uh, we were getting ready to go and uh, it, you blessed me yesterday. See me at the church, you blessed me yesterday. And uh, she began just out the blue to pray out loud. And that should not be unusual, but it is in the body of Christ now. Right. And I mean loud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She began to pray, and I felt the anointing yes. of God. Amen. And I was a little concerned, because I had to tell people who were sitting all around, nobody praying with them but me. Mm -hmm. I said, when somebody prays like that, you need to start joining in. Yes. Amen. Amen. And when it was over, I said, we don't know why her spirit moved her to start praying out. And just say, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for what you've done. Thank you for the food. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for our ministry. Thank you for our bishop. Just a spirit of thanksgiving. I said, we don't know if a demon had set up on the highway on the way back for a horrible accident. Yeah, yeah. But the Spirit could find somebody who would begin to intercede yeah. to block. See, we don't know. Yeah. And we don't need to know. Yeah. Somebody's praying, doing the right. Why wouldn't you join in? Oh, yeah. If it was a bunch of confusion and gossip, you'd be over there saying, well, I don't know about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Can you say, I humble myself? Can you get in the mirror and deal with you? See, we're talking about being extremely blessed. But remember, we said we're not running after money. We're running after God. And God's going to give us the money. He's already given us some things that y'all have no idea. You're just going to bless your life. We're going to have an investment class and teach you. Somebody's coming that's going to teach you Amen. how to invest. Amen. And I gave you the example. That's right. On one investment, you can have 50000 But if you're not somebody that's listening and obeying Bishop and Pastor, uh -huh. you're not going to be part of it. Because uh -huh. you know what's going to happen? When the money comes, mm -hmm. it's going to move you. That's uh -huh. right. It's going to move you. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you're not humble and obedient, mm -hmm. 
you will take, see there, there we human beings will take advantage of whatever is going on. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And then they'll drop you like a hot thing. Yes, yes. Uh, Amen. That's the truth. Oh yeah. Once yes, they true. think they know what they do. Yeah. Yeah. That's what rebellion will do. That's what children do. Mm. You struggle and sacrifice, they have yeah. no yeah. idea yeah. what you have gone without, yeah. what you have gone through just in life. Yeah. The suffering, the heartache that yeah. you've gone through. And they'll get a certain age to drop you like you're hot. Oh, don't yeah. care if you sick, if you dead, they don't care. Saints have done it to us. Let them pay their rent, pay their car, no got cars fixed. Help raise them. They get ready to drop you like you're hot. Amen. So I'm praying, God, who's, because this next move is major. First of all, I'm telling you, it is so major. I'm so excited about it because people are going to become wealthy. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It's already Thank happening Lord. for Bishop and I. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And see, in the body of Christ, we allow people to devalue us as pastors. Uh, so this is just something I'm supposed to do. So, no, no, no. And I'm going to tell some people, I love you, but you can't be a part of this. Mm. You cannot. You go ahead and do your thing. Mm -hmm. hey, and they probably will stop coming to ministry for a while mm -hmm. until they see the money flowing. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to teach y'all. You know, because people come around when they think you got money. Oh, yeah. 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 They may not come to ministry, but they call you. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And you're going to learn how to say no. Uh -huh. Amen. Hey, Bishop and I go on Tuesday, we're going to buy some vehicles. God said, go buy vehicles. Thank you, God. Talk to yes. our friends, and we got it all set up. Give me not. Mm -hmm. Do you really think I'm giving cars to people not listening? Mm -hmm. See, this is some Bishop and I said, we're going to put some cars in the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Did we not talk about that this yeah. week and what we're going to do? Beautiful. Yeah. And Sister Barbara said, oh, we've known them for years, and, you know, we're going we gonna, we gonna to get it done. They go on there on their way to New Orleans. Hard work, hard fun. They working like that. Get paid for having fun. Ah, it's a good job if you can get it. They paying for them to go. Uh, but when they get back, we're going to put some things in place. And, and they told me what to do. I didn't say, well, I'm not going to do it that way. Cause they told me, now go do A, B, C. Then when we get back, we'll do C, D, F. Is that not what? I'm not telling them all the detail, but ain't none of their business. <laughs> yeah, they, thank you, Bishop. They may try to do it without us. Then it get messed up. Then they don't say what pastor said. But I didn't tell you to do it. I'm not even taking y'all with me. None of it. Thank you, Lord. Carl, sit in the parking lot for 50 years if it have to. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and I'm a bless. We're gonna bless people. Amen. We're gonna bless people. And if it's not y'all. Uh -huh. When God said, people, God said, get in my car. Uh -huh. And when they come up, I'm going to say, you know what? You don't know me, but God knows you. Amen. And God said to bless you. So here's the title. Here's the keys. Car out there. Amen. But it's going to be those that have been on Thank you. Those who have been submitted. If I say bark, you bark. Thank you. Oh, that's control. You know, when the first church first started, first few years, we came under a lot of help from membership. Some of them are still here. And they would go out and tell people they trying to control people. They trying to tell people what to do. Show us. Show am. I'm trying to get you to control your mind. Amen. Stop doing your mess Amen. so you can get blessed. Amen. 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 But 
it don't sound right, Pastor. It don't matter. I know it don't sound right to you. You're a sheep. I understand. Mm -hmm. Lord. I understand your mind telling you that's crazy. Mm -hmm. why, are we, why do we want to do this with the cars? Because God said give. Amen. 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 We're working on a catering business. Lord, thank you. Amen. And y'all know, and we all know, Lori had a catering, large catering business. She said, I, I still got stuff, and you know, I'm going to get with you. It doesn't, see, okay, we've been talking about, with you guys, the building down the street. Yeah. And when the building went to a different church, I was, I wasn't moved. Amen. Amen. They'll tell you, I called them and told them, I wasn't moved. Let me tell you something, you got to get to the place, uh -huh. and you're not there, uh -huh. where you trust God, not trust God now, I'm going to do it. Uh -huh. Stand still Amen. and know yeah. that I'm God. You ain't got to have no money. Somebody will give you a house. Yeah. We experience it. Yeah. We tell y'all the testimony all the time. Yeah. We went from across the street from Bouchard to yeah. living in Brandon in the left room house. Yeah. Yeah. With garage. Yeah. Oh, but they had some. We had no money. All the money was in here. Uh -huh. And that's just what God wanted. This was the best investment we ever made. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God knew you were going to need a place. Yeah. Thank you. God knew you were going to need a minute. Yeah. Thank you. God knew it. Thank you. But somebody's got to be willing to sacrifice yes. or save. Yes. See, when you show God, I don't care about the car, yes. the lights, the water, the rent, the mortgage, because I trust Thank you. you I'm just going to keep on some. See, that's humility. Thank you. People laughing at you, talking about you. You sleeping. Yeah, you down here doing this and that at church, but you ain't got no vehicle. That's all right. God will provide. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. And he did. Amen. Amen. Only missed one week of coming and help clean. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Miss one service. I knew things was getting in the ninth month with her. And I told Mother Ramsey, I said, you can't do it. Uh -huh. You gotta get here. Her daughter wouldn't give her a ride. No, I said, catch your Uber. If necessary, I'll pay for it. But you got to get the word. Yeah. And if you make a commitment to God, you don't give God part time. Amen. 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 Right. You Amen. give him all your time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, and see, that, all of that sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. But well, Bishop, I've been doing it for years. Yeah. And it works, man. Yeah. Yes, it does. Running after money does not work. Running after God works. Amen. Yeah. Giving to people works. Yeah. Give and it shall be given. Yeah. That's yeah. totally opposite to your mind. Yeah. I gotta pay my bills. I I gotta pay my bills. See, God is out. God is out. Yeah. You say, God, I'm serving you. Be a Hezekiah. Yeah, he turned his face to the wall and prayed. Yeah. That's it. And see, it's hypocritical. You can pray here, but you ain't got no prayer space at home. Oh, I tell everybody, yeah. where is your place to pray? Yeah. Yeah. See, we'll set up the living room, the dining room, the kitchen. Where is the prayer place? Where's the place where you sit? Just sit and let him talk to you. Or do you talk to him and hang up the phone? Because you really, you know why? You know what they say, people that interrupt you don't let you finish the sentence. Really, they devalue your conversation. They really don't want to hear from you. Uh -huh. They feel like what they've got to say is more important. Uh -huh. Wow. He 
So when you talk to God, thank you. So when you talk to God, you're talking because you're important. Your issue is important. But you don't really want to hear what he has to say because he may say, you don't have any money because you want a faithful type. You're struggling because you didn't listen to the bishop. Yeah. The bishop told you what to do, but yeah. you wanted to do what you wanted to do. Yeah. So now you're suffering. Yeah. You didn't talk to me before you got the house, before you got the car. Yeah. Now you stuck yeah. like yeah. junk. Yeah. Acknowledge me in all the way. I wouldn't move. You know why I'm not moved? Because we're moving. I've been saying all along. Amen. We're Amen. moving. Amen. It's have been saying. Yeah. We're moving. That's right. Yeah. Amen. We've got a real estate agent. We've yeah. got a lawyer. We're, and, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. We're not moved. That's right. Either God is God or he ain't. Come on, man. God keeps telling me about his good work. I began. I be See, we didn't do this. Yeah, amen. God did this. Amen. I was telling my sister, that I can't even. I know we did it. This ceiling, that ceiling, the fellowship over there. We put up ceilings and walk, and we're still married. Amen. What a miracle. Amen. <laughs> amen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Uh -huh. We did this. And anybody that saw this building, because they had no faith. Mm -hmm. They had no faith, mm -hmm. and they devalued Bishop and I. Yeah. Yes. Because even if you can't see it, you ought to follow your lead. Amen. 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 You're not supposed to see it. You're a sheep. We're shepherds. Amen. God called us. I agree with you. For me, he could have done far better than me. Amen. But he called me. Amen. And I am a pastor, an elder yeah. in the body of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. And anybody yeah. that goes against that, God help you. Because he said, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. You can't judge me because you ain't in the position of an elder. You can't. You sat back, you ran your mouth, you said and judged and told me and Bishop what we did right, what we did wrong, what we should have said, what we shouldn't have said, and the devil said, gotcha. So it was a setup. Somebody yeah. said that yesterday. It was Mother Willis. Yeah. It's a setup. Yeah. And now you've gone through pure, unadulterated yeah. hell. Yeah. Amen. Because huh? you didn't listen. You didn't follow bishop and pastor. You did your own thing. You didn't humble yourself and deal with you. And you won't do it till you get tired. Mm -hmm. When you get fed up slamming yourself and everybody else in the wall, yeah. then you'll do it. Yeah. You'll stop. But for some people, I had, and I'm getting very close, we had, we have that seven or eight children all together between Mitchell and I. Thank God I didn't have them all. Anyway. Um, I had one child, TJ would play in the corner of the playpen all day long with one toy. Not Wayne. Wayne going to knock TJ in the head, throw the fire engine back then they were metal out of the playpen. Oh, he go climb up the walls of the playpen and go out. You couldn't put him in a playpen, it's just impossible. Put him in a crib with high walls. He climbed over and out, would fall on the floor, bump his head, would not cry, and would go, you'd find him in a whole other room of the house. <laughs> Same mother and father, two different people. Some sheep bump their head and say, that's enough for me. I'm out. 
Amen. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Some people, yeah. the devil get to cut their health, cut their mind, yeah. and they still mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. saying I. Yeah. Daniel's request, we are requesting God. We are confessing, decreeing, and declaring. Yeah. And it's going to happen. For some of you, you it's going to happen. But it's not going to happen until no. you deal with your self. And for all of you men, Albert, all of you men that are head of household, you better wake up to the fact that what you are doing or not doing is going to hinder your whole household. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. One man in that house. Because it trickles yeah. down. Men are the head. Yeah. So if he ain't humble, he's stubborn, he's proud for him, he going to be a he, he going to do what he want to do, you just going to have to suffer till he suffer and wake up. This single women, are you in the house? Amen. Single women, I can't hear you. Amen. This is why you better take time to find out who God hey, wants you to do it. Because once you married, you stuck yeah. like yeah. a chuck. Yeah. Ain't no such thing of what well, God, I didn't know he was going to act like. And some, you have to watch people that are schizophrenic. Yeah. Wow. One minute they just are sweet and loving and kind. <laughs> And the yeah. next minute, you you would think, think Mr. Jekyll and yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's not the sweetheart I'm having. He was so sweet and yeah. wonderful. Yeah. People said, why do y'all have such a long time for marriage counseling? I said, get married, you'll find out why. Yeah. Yeah. You'll find out why. Two, two or three weeks. I got people begging for marriage counseling now. Two or three weeks don't get it. You're going to be married to this man and this woman. Bishop said you wake up and she start taking the eyes out and the eyelashes off. And I'll help you and she start taking the leg and she sit up. <laughs> and she was so sweet, so wonderful. And now she's like a raving maniac through the house. And you didn't acknowledge God, you acknowledge flesh. Everything look good ain't good for you. And we all change. You might look like this now. But just keep living. <laughs> so you married him because he was fine. He was fine. Yeah, he was fine, fine. He was fine, fine. You married her because, oh my God. She was shaved, man. <laughs> Baby got booty. <laughs> well, let me warn you. Gravity is in the earth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and once a woman starts having children, stuff ain't going back like it was. <laughs> These kids have to move for that child to get through. And don't buy into the live television. They done had it cut, sucked, yeah. pulled, yeah. sewed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you trying to. Uh, yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Somebody don't marry you for what's inside of you. Come on, man. That's like, and see, that's crept into the church now. Mm -hmm. Women, as soon as a man come into church and he's single, deep, 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 deep. You're just horny, that's all. <laughs> there was a wedding out there where we went, and this was beautiful. And I prayed for them. 
Amen. Yeah. I prayed for them. Yeah. I said, Lord, I hope they're Christian. Yeah. Yeah. I hope they're getting the word. Yeah. Yeah. I hope they've had some counsel. Amen. Yeah. Because today is fun. Today is the wedding. Amen. Most people fall in love with the wedding, especially the women. That's one day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You're going to be married to one person the rest of your life. Yeah. They're going to get gray. They're going to get a stomach. The tits are going to grow. The legs are going to sag. Things are going to move slower. And if they don't love you for who God made us, right? You're going to be in hell. Because you didn't humble yourself. Yeah. Deal with you. Yeah. Turn them from your wicked ways and serve them. America, it was founded on God. Amen. Our founding fathers were not perfect, but God used them to create the greatest laws that you've ever known and to create a great country. They met in churches. Amen. They didn't meet in buildings. They met in churches. Amen. And they prayed and they made decisions after they sought God. We got a problem, y'all, yes. without seeking God anymore. We're so smart now, we gonna figure it out. We're in a mess. From the White House to every shelter, jail, prison in this country, we're in trouble. Our neighborhoods are a mess. I pray every day for Richmond. Southside Richmond is having killing after killing after killing. It's a small city. It's almost like we're trying to catch up with Chicago. That's right. yeah. A man was robbed yesterday at Kingly One, which is five minutes from here. And they killed him. They got what they want, and they killed him dead on the street. An innocent person. Getting out of his car, going to his house. No drugs, no nothing. Just getting out of his car, going to his house. The captain's daughter was saying to me, it's always the youth. It's always the youth. Our 650 to 25-year-olds have lost their lives. I'm saying that, didn't say that. And he was sad. See, to be a police officer now and to see, you either become very bitter or you become very sad. Locking up people's children. People 15 to 25 blowing each other away. They killed him. One of our culture for what was in his wife. And you never know that. You just don't know. And if you are not under the umbrella of protection of Jesus Christ, you're opening yourself up. And I'm not trying to scare anybody. America is in trouble. How about this? Richmond yeah. is in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I've decreed and declared that we're going to take over the state. Yeah. I've already yeah. found out the owner. Yeah. There is nothing yeah. for children to do anymore in this city. Yeah. They got to go outside the city. We can show. Barbara and Jess already got her. It's not me. I don't need another project. 
But God spoke to me. It's just sitting there, rotting away. Uh -huh. Barbara and James have a big uh, movie screen. God, Holy Ghost brought it back to me. Man, we could show free movies uh -huh. and skating. Uh -huh. Have a free night for skating. Uh -huh. And they buy pizza and hot dogs, but they get in free on Friday night. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How about we put some basketball hoops in the back Ooh. and put some lights up and they can come there and play basketball. And let's have our wonderful officers for the second precinct come and skate with them. Come and play basketball with them. Y'all don't hear me. Find out if they're sleeping on the street. But see, you know why they join gangs? It's a family. We're supposed to be their family. God spoke to me. He said, take it. That gonna be some work, gonna be some nights. And I said, God, we ain't got people want to work full time. Now at the school. Now you give me another project. He said, I'll send you help. Bishop said the other week, we got women that will work. Yeah. Yeah. We got women that will work. Yeah. And if I could learn to hang ceilings and sheet rock, y'all yeah. can learn. Yeah. Amen. So what Bishop and I did in the beginning of this ministry, y'all can do. Get off work, come over there and put your work clothes on. Amen. Amen. Just right, or the painting, they won't care. God will send us lights. God will send because once again, this ministry is about our future. You know what? We're grown. Y'all don't hear me. We're grown. What about the children? What about the children? Rich with children have nowhere to go. No bowling alley. We've got bow tie, but that's not in the community. We need a movie theater right here in the middle of South Sidebridge. See this? I'm thinking big. We've got friends who are police officers and captains and majors. They'll help us. Free skating. And then start asking some, put out some uh, uh, questions to ask why they skate. The answer to who first was had the first flash flood. The answer is Noah. Now, if you remember this, later on, you get a prize. You get a free coupon for pizza and a, a frosty and an ice cream cone. <laughs> There's more than one way to get the word into people. And one of y'all are working the candy stand, and then we get somebody to go, we'll take our video screens over there and make part of it a video room. It's not see, because when we give, money will come. Amen. Well, Pastor Bishop, how we going? Well, I don't know how God does. Amen. Maybe it wasn't a building down the street. Maybe it was skating. Amen. Hello. Amen. For the children. For the children. Because we grow. Amen. We grow farts. Be in the bathroom when we go to the bathroom. We grown. Amen. Yeah. What about the children? Yeah. You see how they went off? Yeah. Free skating? Yeah. Yeah. And maybe we can figure out how to add on an addition that be bowling. Yeah. Or maybe miniature bowling. Yeah. Or what is that thing when you throw the ball? Ski ball. Why we can't get some ski ball? Yeah. Why we can't get that?
this not for ourselves, but for some out here. Richmond behavior to help. They've gone through classes and criminal background checks and everything. And one of them, dear DeAndre, he stood next to me. It was the second day or whatever. And he said, This is awesome. He's helping out the camp. And I said, Excuse me. He said, Do these kids realize what they got? No. 16 or 17, 15, whatever. He said, I go to George Wentz and it's a bad house, Pastor. I got beat up because I accidentally stepped on the tip of a girl's shoe. She went and got her brother, the brother got his dad and he said, he said, this is awesome. I'm so glad they assigned me to work here. What y'all are doing is awesome. I guarantee the 15, 16 year olds that are here don't think that way. See, DeAndre be one we could hire and give a job to. It's not about you. We got people dying. And we got the answer, right? Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. This is an important message. America's in trouble. You agree? Yeah. Who's American? Yeah. Then who's got the answer? We do. And we start right here. Yeah. We're going to start talking about who didn't do what in government. Government can't fix this because it's spiritual. Amen. Children that are unloved, and I'm getting ready to close. I was, we by act by acts, I turned the child. We got some good word this morning, and we were getting ready to go, and I turned to channel, looking for word, and um, Mike Tyson came on, and the Holy Spirit said, stop. Now I'm looking, I'm like, but I'm obedient. He's old now, y'all. Got gray hair, and <laughs> heavy set. He said, I was mistreated. The man said, I've known you all your life just now. Do you know why yet you were so angry? He said, nobody loved me as a child. He said, I lived a life of misery. All my childhood, I was mistreated. All my childhood. He said, so you think what children experience in childhood affects them as adults? He said, for me, I know you. That's right. He said, well, have you found peace? And I looked at the screen. Because he didn't say, are you content? Are you all right now? He used a godly word. He said, have you found peace? And I started crying. Because he said, that, what is peace? Tell me what it is. 
instance. I don't, I don't know what that is. A clone old man. Uh -huh. I said, God, I wish I could get to him. Uh -huh. I wish I could put my arms around him and say, Jesus loved you. Uh -huh. I love you. God forgive you. Uh -huh. He said, when you're angry, comes out on everybody. He said, well, are you content now? He said, I'm content for this moment we're talking to. He's lived. He's an old man going to die. He's slurred speech, stammers, which is Parkinson's from being hit in the head. That's what happens to boxers and football players. And he doesn't know peace, sister. All he knows is what he has for me. He said, I bit off the ear because I was angry. I'm always angry. Jesus. I heard I'm always hurt. You know God's peace. He doesn't even know the way to it. <laughs> the man tried to explain to him his concept of peace and he just couldn't get it. The next time you want to complain, the next time you want to find fault, I hope you remember Mike Tyson. An old man who doesn't know what Wouldn't it be something if someone would minister Christ? If you don't know Jesus, then you're like Mike Tyson.
Give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah.